Hey family, welcome back to my channel. So this beautiful unit that I am wearing is a unit that I ordered offline. And guess what? I customized it by myself. Yes, it was my first time. So of course, I would want to share with y'all. I dyed the wig using the watercolor method. And I also bleached the knots on the wig. So I would like y'all to check the video out. And feel free to leave me comments and let me know what y'all think about the video. So I ordered this hair from a company called Unice. It is a 13 by 6 lace frontal, 18 inch in the color natural. Now they did hook us up with a few goodies along with the wig. They hooked us up with an adjustable strap, which I actually like because it kind of resembles like a bra strap. So you can sew it on and you can also remove it as well. And I guess take it on and off as you please. And they also gave a wig cap as well. So the products I use for the coloring process, I use the Adore brand um, coloring. I used it in the color Jet Black. You're gonna get a conditioner of your choice and you're gonna get you a Gots To Be glue spray. Trust me, you will be surprised how well this spray works. It is actually to help from the dye getting on your lace. Since we will be doing the watercolor method, you're going to turn your lace inside out and you're going to use the Gots To Be spray and you're gonna spray the lace. Now, I probably should have told y'all this before, but while I'm doing this, I actually have a pot of water on the stove heating up. You don't wanna spray your lace and then put it directly into the watercolor. You wanna spray it, at least give it three to five minutes to kind of set and get a little dry. Once you're done spraying the wig, you're gonna take that pot of water that you had heating up and you're just going to pour it into a bowl. Now, what I didn't realize is there wasn't enough water in there, so the wig wouldn't have, would not have been fully submerged. So I just went ahead filled up the pot with some hot water just from the faucet and poured some more in there. Next, you're going to add your hair color into the water. I did have two bottles. I ended up only using one bottle, which was enough. Of course, depending on the size of the bottle of hair dye that you have, you may also need two bottles. Now I'm just going to use the back of my brushing tool and just kind of stir just to make sure that all of the cutter, color, excuse me, all of the color is mixed in completely with the water. Then you're gonna take your wig and you're going to completely submerge it in the water. So I let my wig sit in the water for about eight to 10 minutes. After about six minutes, I just took the wig out just to check to see if it was taking the color. Once I was satisfied how the wig took the color, I went ahead and I used lukewarm water to rinse the color out of the hair. Then I went and I went in with my conditioner and kind of just detangled and combed the wig with my wide tooth comb. Once that's done, you want to allow your wig to dry prior to bleaching your knots. So I just put my wig on my mannequin head to allow it to dry. If you would like to use a drying utensil, like a blow dryer, you're definitely more than welcome to do so. However, I was definitely not pressed for time and I prefer to allow my wig to air dry. 
So we're moving on to bleach and a knot. I let my wig dry. I started this, y'all, early in the morning. So now it's about 8 o'clock at night and my wig is pretty much dry except for the ends of the hair which really doesn't matter because we're only bleaching a knot so you're going to need your bw2 you're going to need a conditioner a shampoo i heard that a neutralizing shampoo is good because it stops the bleaching process and or a something called a purple shampoo i use the shimmer light purple shampoo and this helps with the brassiness which is that orange or yellow tint that happens when you bleach your knot and you're going to use your developer, which I have volume 30. So you're gonna take your BW2 powder and you're going to pour it into some type of some type of bowl, whatever bowl that you have is fine. You can also purchase those bowls they have at the beauty supply store, but you really don't need to waste your money if you have an old plastic bowl at home that works. And you're going to take your volume develop your cream, excuse me, take the cream and you're going to kind of feed it into the powder. One of the main things when you're doing this, you do not want your um, your bleach to be too, too thin and you don't want it to be too thick. If it's too thin, it will run through onto the hair and you'll be bleaching some of the roots of the hair. And if it's too thick, it won't settle in and it won't bleach the knots properly. Now, a lot of people I've seen on YouTube, they use volume 40, but this is my first time doing it. And from what I have researched, the volume 30 doesn't process as fast. So to avoid over bleaching your knots, the volume 30 is actually good if you are a beginner. So in preparing to bleach the knots, I just took a spray bottle filled with water and my detangling brush. I am spraying the, I guess what, the hairline and I'm going to brush all the hairs back to make sure they're out of the way of the lace, including the baby hairs. I don't know if I had some stubborn baby hairs but it was giving me a lot of trouble as far as laying back. So I just took my gossipy spray and I sprayed the front of the hairline and the baby hairs and brushed it back just to help give it some hold. Now you can start applying the bleach to the inside of the hair to bleach the knots. Um, I did not tell y'all this at first and I am so, so sorry. But do not forget to get y'all some gloves because when this stuff gets on your hands and on your skin, it gets all white. It burns so... Don't say I never told y'all. I began applying the bleach to the front of the hairline first, towards the front of the lace. Of course, you don't need to dye the lace portion where there isn't any hair. So you just want to apply it with your brush. I've seen people use a spatula. Um, just any tool that is going to facilitate you applying the bleach. And do not press too hard when you're applying the bleach on the lace because you don't want to press the bleach so far into the lace that it's getting onto the hair. Just a little bit about my experience with this process. I feel like bleaching a wig was a little more difficult. Like bleaching a frontal I feel like would be a lot better because you can kind of just lay the frontal down the wig. It was a little awkward because... There's only lace on the front, so I'm kind of folding it in half and being all awkward trying to put the lace, I'm sorry, trying to put, put the bleach onto the lace. But one thing I could say is I think I would have rather start from the back portion of the hair and work my way toward the hairline. I don't know if y'all used to get relaxers, but I guess kind of the same concept with the relaxer. You want to start where the hair is, I guess there's more hair and then kind of work your way to the front because I feel like the hairline bleached a little faster than the rest of the hair. Once I was finished, I took a piece of foil and like I said, I had the wig folded in half. So I just laid it face down on the foil and just again, ensure that those hairs are brushed back. So one thing I'm gonna pride myself on on my channel is definitely giving y'all the real 
the good, the bad, and the ugly. And I didn't cut this part out because I wanted y'all to see that when doing things for the first time, of course, it's not going to be perfect, which I'm sure already y'all probably already know. But while I was um, applying the bleach to the lace, some of it, how, I don't know, but it got on the hair. So I just kindly took a paper towel when I turned it over and I'm just wiping the speckles of bleach off the hair strands. It did not bleach any of the hair strands or anything like that. I left the bleach on the lace for about 20 minutes. At around 10 minutes, you just wanna check and just to ensure that it is taking the bleach and it's not actually getting over bleach. Once my time is up, I took the wig and I began to rinse out the bleach. Um, once the bleach was completely rinsed out, I just used lukewarm water. I took my purple shampoo and I applied it to the lace. I kind of applied it kind of thick and I let it sit for about three minutes. As you can see, the wig did have that brassy look to it, like that orange, yellowish color. They say the purple shampoo is supposed to help, but we will see once we wash it off. All right, y'all, so they did not lie about the purple shampoo. That orange, yellowish tint, which they call the brassy look or brassy tint, was no longer on my lace. Thank goodness. So you're going to rinse out this shampoo and continue on with your regular wash process. Now, I had to go back and I had to show y'all these knots again. Like, were there ever knots on this wig? I mean, I don't know, but I think I did my thing with bleaching this wig. I placed the wig back on the mannequin again to air dry. Like I said, I was not in a rush or I was, and I was not pressed for time. Now, the next thing I did was I plucked the hairline of my wig. This is not a tutorial for plucking a hairline, so I did not get in detail with it, but I just wanted just to show y'all or to let y'all know that's also what I did. The wig did come pre-plucked, but I felt like it was still a little dense to my liking, so I just went ahead and customized it the way I liked. So that concludes the video. I don't think I did too bad, y'all. I would love to know what y'all think about it. So feel free to leave me those comments. I didn't do too much to the unit from what you've seen in the video after. The only thing I did do was put a little bit of foundation down the part just to help it pop a little bit. Um, like I said, I'm very excited about this. It was my first time. And I figure, you know, now that I found an easy way or a beginner friendly way to do it, why not share with y'all? So if you have not subscribed yet, I don't know what you're waiting on, but don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I post videos weekly, so hit that bell button so you don't miss out on these videos. All right. So family, I will see y'all next week. Bye.